The Museum of the Bible opened Saturday in Washington, D.C. It cost $500 million, making it the largest privately funded museum in the city. A big part of that money comes from the conservative Christian family-run company Hobby Lobby. Chip Reed is at the 430,000-square-foot museum just blocked from the Capitol. Chip, good morning. As you can see, this is a museum of biblical proportions. It's one of the biggest in this city of museums, even bigger than the massive Air and Space Museum. The people who build it say it's the most complicated project they've ever done, and Washington politics made it even more so. You're going to have a lot of sore necks in this place. At 140 feet long and 40 feet high, this digital ceiling makes for a spectacular entrance. But first, visitors will pass through these 16-ton, 37-foot tall bronze doors with text from the Book of Genesis. With eight levels of 22-foot high ceilings, the museum is the equivalent of a 17-story building. So this is the whole Bible from first page to the last. First page to last. Kerry Summers is the museum's president. We wanted something close to the mall. We didn't pick this building, unlike some have said, because we're close to the Capitol. Some 51,000 donors contributed to the construction of the museum, but the largest and most controversial donor is Hobby Lobby, the arts and crafts chain founded by the conservative Christian Green family. This is not the Steve Green Muse Museum of the Bible. It's not. Steve Green is the president of Hobby Lobby, which has amassed over 40,000 ancient biblical artifacts, one of the largest private biblical collections in the world. About 1,000 of them, from Dead Sea Scrolls to Bibles over 1,000 years old, will be on display here. Get to learn history through seeing it, feeling it, and it's just amazing. There is a higher calling here to cutting edge technology and special effects. This is so cool. Hop aboard the Flyboard Theater and experience the sensation of flying through Washington, D.C. Indeed, I tremble for my country. View the scripture passages inscribed on federal buildings. It's awesome to see the influence that Christianity has had in this country. The museum invites you to walk through the history of the Bible. The olive trees in this village of Nazareth are modeled after the biblical garden of Gethsemane. You believe the Bible is good for the world. Yeah, I do. It's the good and the bad and the ugly. And then you make up your own mind. 